Now, if he was not testable, I would have to stimulate. The first thing would be to stimulate his triple armor, which runs from here, and it goes the direction up to basically the middle of the arm. It goes around the side of the head and has an end point here. By stimulating this point, I can get his adrenals, or let's say his electrical system, back up and running. And triple warmer stands for three things. Triple meaning three things to heat the body. Thyroid, thymus, and his adrenal glands down here. Now the funny thing about this is the adrenal glands are the reserve energy of the body. Meaning this is your backup system. Meaning backup meaning you shouldn't use it on a regular basis. You should use it in emergency situations. You ever like uh, missed a... Well, let's say your alarm didn't go off and looking, got to be at work in five minutes. Boom. Okay, there goes the adrenal system, right? You don't need a cup of coffee. You're stimulated instantaneously. Someone almost runs into you in a car instantly. That's how quick your adrenal glands work. Here comes the lion. I must run now. But if you're in a city and you're always using up your adrenal glands, always in your head, go, 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 run, run, run. We get so much in our head living in the city. It's different society living in Costa Rica in the jungle. That's what burns up the adrenal, the thought patterns. The thoughts are running, 90 to nothing. So it's a matter of getting the person to turn off the thoughts where they can focus on just one thing at a time. Make a list if you need to, get everything out of your head on the paper and check it off as you go. And I know this because I have to apply these same principles to myself. So now, checking, making sure he's testable, positive, negative. He's ready to go. Okay. Now, if he was not testable, like we said, the triple warmer, but recently I discovered a new spot because I was looking at somebody the other day and I worked with the triple warmer, <laughs> didn't work. And as I look at the body, I see this spot glowing. And this glowing spot in the arm is heart one in the meridians. So all I did was go in there and pull a pressure, yo, 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 okay. And I made the sound effect for him. Um, <laughs> hit heart one and all of a sudden, guess what happened? Boing, they were testable. In his case, he's testable. So, watch what happens. He's not testable. I just temporarily disrupted his meridian system. I couldn't see what you did. Okay. <laughs> well, some, thing, some things I don't... He was here. Well, shutting things off is something I don't really want to teach people because it, it's... It, with knowing to shut things off becomes a responsibility once again. Mm -hmm. And in healing classes, if I teach people to shut things off, you may shut things off and not be sure how to turn it back on. And this is one thing how they disrupted organs in the past is turning things off in the meridian systems. Basically, in his sleep, his organs will get lax. The heart meridian, though, works around 12 o'clock noon, 11 to 1. The heart is most strenuous because it's detoxing itself at 12 noon. All right? But once again, it only lasts for a moment. See, so he's back on. I can disrupt certain meridians, certain spots, but just for a moment. Yeah. Okay, questions so far. You guys are a good review, right? Second, third time, it starts kind of coming clear after a while. Okay. First time for you. He's not testable. It's when he's not responding to you in either when he, direction. Yeah, when people are not, not testable. In at all right yeah, now. when they're not testable, positive, negative, they don't change. They stay strong. Because that's when people go to muscle class and, uh, and they learn something really cool. They come home and go, hey, let's try this. And they try it on their other half and nothing happens. Particularly ladies trying it on her husband. <laughs> Just like William saying, the husband's going, yeah, see, it doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, because the teacher didn't show you how to calibrate somebody. Just like a police officer who uses a radar gun, he's supposed to calibrate it with a tuning fork to get it back to the right frequency. So basically, we're getting his body to the right frequency to test it. Mm -hmm. Now, the reasons why someone is not testable, usually stress, but usually the adrenal systems is a system that's low. The thyroid and the thymus can be yes, but it starts in the heart. The heart overworks, the thyroid works to slow it down, to metabolize it, right? The thyroid gets tired after a while, it goes, you know, I can't get, keep doing this. You keep overrunning yourself, right? And then what do we do? We get tired, so we do more stimulation. Hey, now I need two cups of coffee. Now I need the whole pot every day. Let me just intravenously put coffee in me every day to get me going. And then you keep burning up the adrenal system more and more by overstimulating it. When you get to a point in life where you find the stimulants are not working for you to, be, to become more alert in your job, there's time that you probably cut off all stimulants and let your adrenal glands heal. But most of us don't do that. 
Yeah, and what I do is personally, I know I'm drinking coffee and I've been up my use of late nights, that coffee's not working. I said, okay, no use in, in overdoing it because that doesn't do any, any good, except more harm. What I'll do is get a yerba mate, similar to coffee, but not as harmful in the effects. And I'll get a mild dosage at and some other Peruvian herbs for blood sugar and things like that. And I'll take that for a week, maybe longer, until my adrenals come back on. That's still a stimulation, but for some reason that particular herb doesn't overdrive the, the adrenals. I'm sure if I put in a whole bunch of the yerba mate, I'd be spinning around like a top. But it's a more mild solution to still, so you don't go with any withdrawal symptoms, some caffeine, if you drink green tea or the Gano coffees, things like that. But the idea is to have healthy adrenal system. Okay, everybody with me? All right. So, once again, if he's not testable, his adrenals are tired. He's in adrenal fatigue. He's probably gone many hours without eating, and his blood sugar has dropped over and over again. When your blood sugar drops, you have a crash. Where do you get the energy to pick yourself back up? Sugar usually. No, your adrenals. Are you okay? yeah, what does your body do? Not what you need to consume, but your body will consume more. Uh, I'm sorry, not consume. Your, your adrenals will be stimulated again when your blood sugar drops. Put them in to get the pancreas going. So if you keep overstimulating your pancreas now, you become what over time? It's called a diabetic. Right? When you've gone without food for hours and you say, okay, I'm good, I have energy, well, where's that energy coming from when you haven't consumed food? Unless you're a breathitarian, okay, you probably are going on your adrenal systems, norepinephrine, epinephrine. All right? There's plenty of people who live for the adrenal high, right? Well, it's good, but when your adrenals are up, your immune system is down. So you need that, you need that to reverse. It's okay to go through a period of stress, but then again, you have the, have the period of what? Downtime. Bring your life back to a calm, somewhat of a calm living in the city. And then your immune system can come back to normal. It's funny, when I went on my last trip, I actually went on an actual real vacation where I didn't really work the whole time. I noticed such a calm to my body I haven't had in a, a long time by just laying on the beach. I'm on the beach, get in the water, go back to the beach. It's like, wow, relaxation. Okay? I didn't feel like drinking a stimulant. You didn't want to be stimulated, right? So here we go. We've asked permission. We checked his shoulder. We've checked his uh, his polarity reflex. Now we know he's ready to go. All right. So if he wasn't, I want you guys to start checking out this new area. Meaning it's not really new, but go to the heart one. I'm not going to hit it again on him. And just stimulate this heart area on yourselves. It's like putting on overalls. Put your thumbs up. Right inside, that is heart one, and it burns right inside the ribs. <laughs> okay? 